Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So we're going to do um, the jackrabbit with a little wrinkle of adding some rotation. So if I come up into my starting position, um, I press out, and then here we go into our jackrabbit. So even torso and legs, keeping the link through the spine and the deep belly active. If I want to add some rotation, I'm going to bring the carriage in and turn my toes to face one direction. So I'm on the inner side of one foot, the outer side of the other. My pelvis is rotated, but my rib cage isn't. And then I press out and do my jackrabbit in this rotated position. So I feel a lot more work on the bottom side oblique, and I'm adding that rotation. And then to come out of it, you would bring the carriage back in. When you're home, you could switch to the other side, press out, and here again, pelvis is facing one direction, spine and rib cage rotating in the other. So I'm adding that oblique work to the jackrabbit. And to come out of it, bring the carriage home. You could come back to the center and go back to your regular variation. And that, my friends, is the revolving jackrabbit. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.